Good day. This video clip is intended for the demonstration of registration and georeferencing of paper maps. So what is georeferencing? Georeferencing means to define the location of geographic features in terms of map projections or coordinate systems. Example. Examples would cut would include establishing the correct position of scanned maps within the base map or finding the geographical coordinates of a place, name, or street address. This procedure is imperative to the data modeling in GIS. When data from different sources need to be combined and then used in GIS application, it becomes essential to have a common reference system. So what are the scanning of paper maps? Using a paper map scanning equipment, you can, you can scan a standard of 1 is to 50,000 topographic map in a manner wherein a minimum of 4 corner control points are included in the image or the scan image. For example, if you will visit the website of Namria, Namria is a National Mapping and Resource Information Authority. So just click namria.gov.ph, then click Download. And these are the available topographic maps. One is, one is to 250,000 scale and one is to 50,000 scale. So here we will be utilizing the one is to 50,000 scale. Let's look for the map of Abra de Ilog. So this is the example of a top of a scanned image of an old map of Abra de Ilog. Control points are in the form of longitude and latitude intersection points that can be found in the corner margins and within the topographic map at a given intervals. These intersection points will serve as the X and Y georeference point. When saving picture images, use JPG or JPEG format. Other third-party image processing software can be used to improve the quality of the image uh, rotation to achieve 90-degree alignment of, lati of lati lat latitudinal points and eliminating unnecessary map elements such as the wide boundary margins, discoloration, etc. So the following are the example of the uh, latitude and longitude coordinate points, which will be used as the uh, ground control points. So first thing we need to do is to prepare the ground, the ground control points or GCP from the coordinate maps. So in the file provided with you is the data set. So kindly proceed with the lab X number three data set and go to part two folder. And there's a scan folder there. There are three files uh, indicated. We had we have the GCP file that contains already the coordinate points of the Abra de Ilog, the West three one six zero IIID, an image file focusing on the Abra de Ilog. It's the same uh, file that we uh, downloaded from the Namria. So this is this one. 
actually you can scan the entire thing and use uh, this entire page for the JPEG for the georeferencing. Or you may just uh, excerpt a portion of any map that you will take, just like uh, this image file. And the third file here is the SDNRIL. So we will discuss this later on. Take note that the West 3160IIID is JPEG, that JPEG is a result of a scanning a topographic map from Namria. To facilitate map georeferencing within the QGIS, prepare a matrix of coordinates of the northwest, nor northeast, southeast, and southwest corners of the scanned image. This will be used as the ground control point of your image to its true coordinates on the ground. The file gcp.txt contains uh, this uh, longitudinal and latitude references of the northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast corners of the scan map and can be used in georeferencing exercise. So you may open this uh, notepad or text pad. So it must be noted that as much as possible and as accuracy specification allows you, avoid acquiring GCPs from other sources such as the Global Positioning System or GPS or other maps. Maps with coordinate information with them such as topo maps are enough in preparing the GCP. Just like this uh, file from the Namria, the scanned image file of the Abra the Ilog would suffice the need of georeferencing. So we have the already seen the various coordinate points for the Abra the Ilog, and later on we will also include this transverse Mercator projection and the horizontal datum zone datum. Now let's open our uh, QGIS. Let's start with a new file or new project. Additional information that you need to know before doing georeferencing is that the map projection and the coordinate system of the map. For example, the scanned map of the Abra de Ilog has a projection and coordinate reference system, which is the uh, Philippine Transverse Mercator projection or the Clark uh, Spheroid of 1866 or Luzon 1911 datum. It can be seen you, in, here it in the map of Abra de Ilog. So this is a transverse uh, Mercator projection, the Philippine transverse uh, Mercator projection, and the horizontal datum Luzon datum, or the Luzon 1911 datum. Okay, so this uh, can be, uh, we can see this information below the map title as part of its annotation and metadata or map metadata. So it must be noted that in the Philippines, uh, there are various projections that could be encountered in a local map. So we have the UTM or the Universal Transverse Mercator and we have the PTM which is the Philippine Transverse Mercator. So uh, with, the, with this map, we will be using PTM or the Philippine Transverse Mercator. And as for the geographic coordinate system or GCS, which could also be referred as reference datum, the following are usually being used. We have the Philippine Reference System of 1992 or PRS 92, Luzon uh, Datum 1911, which is uh, in this case for the Abra de Ilog, it is Luzon 1911 Datum, and the other project. Uh, other uh, reference datum is the World Geodetic System of 1984 or WGS84. Uh, it must be noted that the projection and the GCS or the Geographic Coordinate System forms the basis of the projected coordinate system or PCS. So for example, UTM51N WGS84 is a UTM 
or the Universal Transfers Mercator, with the WGS-84 or the World Geodetic uh, System of 1984 reference datum as its uh, GCS. Next is the PTM Zone uh, 3 with uh, PRS-92 is a PTM or Philippine Transfers Mercator with uh, the Philippine Reference System of year 1992 or PRS-92 as its GCS. Conceptually, you can mix projection and reference datum to create PCS. But please make sure to avoid doing this and just use the standard PCES established by the authority agency such as NAMRIA. Now, let's proceed with the georeferencing scanned image with available GCPs. So, using the quantum uh, GIS or the QGIS, so as mentioned a while ago, we need to create a new project. Then, we will open the tool from the raster. So, proceed with raster. Georeferencer. Then, a new window will prompt. Click this icon, open raster, and go to the folder where you save your documents. So, we will be using the West 3160 IIID open file. Then it will be reflected here. Make sure that this icon would be enabled. This is intended to add points. So after clicking this icon, kindly zoom in your image file and approximately place here in the middle of this coordinate point then click that and a new window will appear asking you to enter the map coordinates so i will now start encoding uh, the coordinate of this uh, corner which is the northwest so its longitude is 120 degrees 40 minutes 0 seconds so 120 space 40 space zero zero next is the y or the north thing so this would be the latitude so the latitude of this point is 13 degrees 30 minutes zero seconds so 13 three zero 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 so as mentioned a while ago for this project its reference datum is Luzon 1911. Therefore, we will be using the EPSG 4253 Luzon 1911. So upon checking, click OK. Then do as well with the other corners. And lastly, then after selecting the four GCPs or the uh, ground. Uh, control points, we can now start georeferencing. So, but before that, make sure to have your set, the, to set up first the transformation settings. So, click this icon. So, for this case, let's have the transformation type to be linear. Your sampling method, the nearest neighbor. The target CRS, let's have the EPSG4253 to so 1911 first. Next, as for the output raster, let's transfer the output in the output folder. Let's have its name Abra 
the ilog. Underscore EPS uh, G 4253, which is the target uh, CRS for this case. So save, then click OK. And its residual will, will appear. So as much as possible, we want to have a very small residuals. Okay? Then after that, click this play button, which is basically uh, will start the georeferencing. So it, it was already prompted that the georeference was successful. So the raster was successfully uh, georeferenced. So we can now close this one, close georeferencer. So as you can see, this the file has now been a, a, a georeference. So let's right click this, properties. So this is uh, the file. This is where uh, the Abra de Ilog EPSG 4253 was located. And it has a coordinate reference system of EPSG 4253, Luzon 1911. Now to double check this, the correctness of this area, uh, we can uh, place the uh, vector layer of the Philippine admin. So control shift E to open a vector. So click this icon, then let's proceed with the lab X number three, data set part three, vector. Let's filter the file to S3 shape file. Click the fill admin 2009, open and add. So this will prompt you to uh, transform, but as for this, let's just cancel it now, for now. Then close. Let's rearrange the layer. Let's place the fill admin 2009 at the bottom. So here is basically the vector layer of the Philippines. And here is the Abra de Ilo. Now let us have another verification by using the um, OpenStreetMap base map. So using the Open Layers plugin, go to web, Open Layers plugin, then OpenStreetMap. So it must be noted that the Open Layers plugin must be installed first using plugins, manage and install plugins. Okay. So make sure to install the Open Layers plugin. Let's rearrange again the layer. Let's up have the Field Admin 2009 inactive or disabled first. So here is the place. The Open Street Map. Zoom into Abra de Ilog. So basically, that's it for georeferencing a scanned images with available ground control points or GCPs. Thank you.